So in my network, I have my syslog server connected to router one, which in turn is connected to router two. My syslog server has an IP address of 192.168.1254, and it can ping the loopbacks of both routers. Kibi syslog is running on the Windows PC over here. So now let's configure logging messages on the router. So I'm gonna say logging, and I need to specify an IP address if I wanna to log to that server. So 192.168.1.108, that is once again the IP address of this PC. And then I'm gonna say logging trap seven. Now before I enable logging on router two, let's have a look at logging. So show log. We can see that trap logging is set to debugging and I'm logging to this server According to the router, two messages have already been logged to the syslog server. And I can actually see that here in my Kiwi syslog server. So something was configured via the console and logging has been enabled. So what's nice now is I could actually do something simple like just pressing Control Z or Control Z and notice I can see the output on the syslog server. Now I'm not seeing anything on my console because my console at the moment is set to level errors. So let's change that. So logging console seven or debugging. I see the output here and I also see it on my syslog server. Now one of the things that you'll notice is that the date and timestamps are not correct. If I type show clock, you can see that the clock is set to March 2002. So let's set the clock to the current time at the moment here in the UK. And it's the 16th of May 2016 at the moment. So show clock. Notice please that on my syslog server, it changed from March to May. So that update has been done. You can also see in this case that there are some OSPF messages because I am running a debug adjacencies on the router. So my timestamps have been enabled properly. If I type show run pipe include log, notice service timestamps log date time milliseconds allows me to specify that timestamps will be included in logging messages. That's a very important command to add to your router so that you actually get the date and timestamps on your log messages. Otherwise you wouldn't know when things took place. So before I explain some of the options, let's do a test. I'll shut the interface down on router two and then no shut it. And what you should see now is I get logging messages on my console but I'm also getting those logging messages on my syslog server. So I'm seeing all the logging messages, not only on the console, but I'm seeing it on my syslog server. So this is a better way of storing log messages. There are other options available and you can have a look at the online help for more details. I simply wanted to show you here how to get a syslog system running and integrate it between a Cisco router running in GNS3 and the SolarWinds Syslog server.